Thank you very much for joining me on this Saturday. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields. This area out here is a major threat to the Eastern Caribbean. It is not a guarantee that it moves in yet. That's what I'll be tracking for you as we go over the next few days. So not a guarantee that this moves in, but it is eventually going to be close. You see that big blob there, and it is getting better organized at this point. I do expect it to become a tropical storm and then eventually become a hurricane and be very close to the Eastern Caribbean. There's still going to be fronts. You see one right here, and there's more fronts back there. These fronts help turn these systems this time of year. It's going to depend on the strength of these fronts, the timing of these fronts, but as of now, this is going to continue to trek to the west at least over the next several days, develop further. It's going to get stronger and be close to the Eastern Caribbean, but again, not a guarantee yet that it does move in. You see the models, here we go in the Eastern Caribbean. Uh, we get back through Barbados, uh, Guyana, Suriname, uh, get back toward Venezuela, Trinidad and Tobago, Antigua and Barbuda. You see the modeling again, taking this off toward the West. A few of the models start to hint at a curve, especially the American model that has a curve a little bit sooner. The European model does bring this in. I wanna show you both of those and I want to get into the water temperatures and the wind shear just ahead. Now, here's a broader picture of some of the uh, modeling. And again, you see a hint of a curve and then a big curve down the road. So this is out on time. This is going to change. But it does tell me that why we, uh, while we move to the west over the next several days into next week, eventually there is going to be a curve. It's just a matter of of when, and, and I don't know that yet, and frankly, nobody does uh, at this point this far out in time. So I'm gonna tell you everything I'm seeing with this system. Here's the European model. Here we are in the Caribbean, Puerto Rico right here, down through Trinidad and Tobago. We get back through a Belize over here, uh, Florida over toward the Bahamas. This area is Sean that is falling apart. It's the area back behind it that is going to be developing. So taking you out in time again with the European model, this is by the time we get into Tuesday, of the upcoming week. So just a few days from now, you see this area here getting better organized by early to mid next week. It should be a tropical storm at that point, getting stronger. Now to the north of it, there's high pressure. That's a blocker, that's a fence. So it doesn't escape yet. So again, with that area of high pressure here, that allows this area to continue to move off to the west. But what I'm watching down the road, are these fronts. There's going to be a series of these fronts, and these are the fronts that could help turn it. So we need these fronts to be stronger. We need them to be quicker to kind of help grab this and turn it. Now, as it stands now, let's go out on time further. The European model has this continuing to march off to the west saying, hey, this front up to the north is not going to be able to grab it yet. So as we work our way out in time, this is by the time we get into Thursday of next week, it would be a hurricane according to the European model. I'll keep an eye on all of the environmental conditions. I do not just look at the models. I look at what's going on in the environment. But at this point, we'd be watching again a potential hurricane close to the Eastern Caribbean. But you see this green shading in here where I drew this uh, purple line. This is another front and it's, it's going to be kind of how strong that front is and how soon it's able to help turn it. But as of now, the European model is saying hey, it's not super strong, so there will be a curve. So even the European model is showing a curve, but if this were to hold, this would bring some at least tropical storm or hurricane conditions to the northeastern Caribbean, uh, but a very close call once again. And we've seen this season a lot of these systems making a turn before the eastern Caribbean. And then you see another front uh, back here. This is a big time front. And if this one speeds up, it would help to turn it a little bit quicker. So as it stands now, the European model would say, hey, uh, some tropical storm, maybe hurricane conditions would roll into parts of the eastern Caribbean by the time we work our way into uh, late next week and next weekend. But there you see that curve. So if it just happens just a little bit sooner, we'd be in good shape. It's still a wait and see. There's gonna be a lot of stuff out there about this big system moving in. It's not a guarantee that it moves in. Here's one sample. Now the American model has done a very good job this season with certain storms, others not so good. So we'll wait and see, but the American model has it taking this uh, turn sooner. Uh, from what I'm seeing in the environment, the American model is having it make a turn a little bit too quick. I wish this would be the case. That would be some good news, but at least it does show that some of the modeling is showing that curve. Again, all the models are really showing some sort of a curve. Just the, the American model saying, hey, this area of high pressure is not too strong, so that fence 
It's not that blocker. It's not super strong. And there's going to be these fronts that help to uh, turn this as we work our way into next week. I hope that happens. We will wait and see on that scenario. So the American model has an earlier turn. The European model brings it very close to the Northeastern Caribbean, but both of the models have this strengthened into a tropical storm and have it strengthened into a hurricane. I want to show you the strength potential in just a second. Now, here's the wind shear. Wind shear, again, is a good thing. That's our friend. That helps prevent some development. But here's this area right here. And the, uh, the high wind shear is in this red shading here. And there's just not a lot out ahead of the system. Actually, not a lot at all. So as this marches off to the west, just point being, I know the map is kind of crazy, a lot of lines and colors, there's not a lot of wind shear, and that is one of the reasons that this is going to strengthen in the models are showing that. So again, I'm looking at what's going on in the environment. And then of course, keeping an eye on some of these uh, computers. These are the uh, computer models out in time, 24 hours out in time, two days out in time, three days out in time, four days out in time, uh, three to four days out in time. This green shading here, all of the models you see kind of going up, having it as a tropical storm. And then down the road, this uh, yellow shading here, the models have this as a, a category one hurricane. So we're going to see strengthening. I showed you why. Again, the low wind shear and the water temperatures, of course, always very warm this time of year coming off the summer. This, though, season has been a little bit extra warm, and that will be a concern. As this moves to the Eastern Caribbean, water temperatures 30, even 31 degrees Celsius, 85, 86 degrees Fahrenheit. So there's a lot of fuel for this. But again, not a guarantee. Can't stress that enough because I know there's a lot of stuff out there on social media, uh, other channels, whatever. Uh, it's not a guarantee it moves in, but it definitely is a higher threat. I need to uh, share this information to get the right information out. I do this channel just for safety and accuracy. That is it. So please, again, share this and get the correct information uh, out, and I'll be with you throughout this. Now, out ahead of it, there's a little blob. That is Sean. Sean is back to a tropical depression and, again, falling apart. Watching out for some rain. Bay of Campeche, watching that. Some shower and storms as we work our way over here. We've seen a few showers and storms in uh, the Bahamas this morning. Closer look, northern Colombia, we've had some rain and storms. A couple showers near Jack Mel. I've been watching that over toward Haiti. Now, as the day goes on, and I want to recap in just a second and then get into the eastern Pacific, or I uh, just showed you the eastern Pacific, uh, but uh, again, here's the eastern Pacific. This area may spin up a little bit as that moves away, but a spotty shower or two possible as we go over the next few days. Again, watching that. Costa Rica, Panama, the higher chance of rain, and still keep an eye on this extra rain near the Yucatan and again swinging back toward uh, Mexico. Spotty showers and thunderstorms. Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico, one or two and a few over toward Cuba and working our way back through the Bahamas. Jamaica, hit or miss storms as we go over the next few days. Watching us in Jamaica as we work our way into our Monday. Again, all eyes off to the east. This moisture here, extra moisture for Belize on Monday. Monday, the rain chance higher in Belize. Even the Cayman Islands in Jamaica, some spotty showers and storms with one of those fronts that are going to be getting closer. So we have Sean out there now. That is a tropical depression. The next name on the list is Tammy. So it looks like this area that is going to be approaching the uh, Caribbean will get the uh, name Tammy. Here we go in the Eastern Pacific. Again, this little area here, not much of a threat, but that'll be working its way off to the uh, West. I'll keep an eye on that on the uh, Eastern Pacific side. So Jamaica, again, the spotty afternoon storms, like I was talking about, a 30 to 40% chance. The next few days, a 20 to 30% chance in the uh, Cayman Islands. 20 percent chance today pop-up shower in Trinidad and Tobago and again we are so so hot we are baking out there even hotter than usual for this time of year Grenada rain chance 20 percent through the weekend 20% as well through Barbados. Little spotty shower in Barbados. Passing shower chance St. Lucia. Little uptick in the rain chance on Monday. Monday, we're going to be up to about a 40% chance. 20 to 30% chance through the weekend. St. Vincent and the Grenadines. A 20% chance in Guadeloupe over the next uh, three days. 20% chance this weekend in Dominica. And a 20% chance in Martinique. A 30% chance by the time we get into uh, Monday. Puerto Rico, these are the afternoon storms around. Some of those could be strong, otherwise we're very hot. Hanging on to that 20% chance, U.S. Virgin Islands, British Virgin Islands. So St. Thomas, uh, St. Croix may get a little uh, passing shower in there, and that should be uh, just about it. As we work our way forward uh, into uh, Bermuda, rain chance about 40% on Sunday. 20% chance as we get into Antigua and Barbuda over the next few days. 20% chance uh, all the way into uh, early next week. And hanging on to that minimal chance, St. Kitts and Nevis and Montserrat passing shower. Very limited chance of rain in Anguilla, about a 10% chance. St. Martin, Seba Station, not a whole lot. 
just a small chance of a shower. 30% chance the next uh, day or two in Belize. But again, as I mentioned, in Belize, we are going to see that rain chance getting higher uh, early next week with the front dropping closer. Same thing in the uh, Yucatan of Mexico. That rain chance will be bumping up. Bahamas scattered about. We've seen a few showers, as I mentioned, this morning. 20% chance Turks and Caicos uh, through the weekend. 30% chance on Monday. Haiti, uh, we have a couple storms around. We had some last night, a few this morning. I was tracking that through the uh, overnight. So again, some hit or miss storms around. Dominican Republic, a 40% chance of scattered storms, 30 to 40% chance the next three days in Cuba, limited chance of rain as we work our way into Aruba, of course, Aruba uh, over toward uh, Curacao and Bonaire, 10 to 20% chance over the next three days. Rain chance goes down a little bit in Costa Rica by the time we get into next week. But again, areas of flooding, Panama and Costa Rica. Keep an eye on some of the spotty storms, Guatemala, El Salvador, Nicaragua, and of course in Honduras, we'll see some spotty showers and storms. 30 to 40% chance in uh, northern Venezuela, Guyana, about a 20 to 30% chance in a passing shower possible as we work our way into Suriname. So again, thank you for sharing this information, getting it out there. This new system, it is a major threat. Still a wait and see if it does move in. It's not a guarantee. It's going to be really the timing and strength of these fronts that we were just tracking together. So please, please stay alert. Get this information out there. Thank you for being part of this weather community. Have a good rest of your day.